I, like many people, celebrate April 12th. Most people celebrate it for Yuri's Night, the anniversary of Yuri Gagarin's historic Vostok 1 flight. But I have additional reasons for celebration. One reason is that it's my mother's birthday. The other reason is that it's the day JW Studios came to YouTube in 2006. Of course, if you look at my current account, you'll see it says we first came to YouTube on July 26, 2007. This is because, after I released a six-part video called Flagging the Gems, made from public domain NASA stock footage of Apollo 10, Mark Gray of Spacecraft Films filed fraudulent DMCA takedowns and got my old account suspended. He filed two more takedowns of two of my videos after I started up my current account. And for years, Spacecraft Films has enforced DMCA takedowns on anyone who uses NASA's footage to question the moon landings. Not anymore. Recently, we filed counter notifications to YouTube, and it became clear that Gray's bogus copyright infringement claims were just that, bogus. Thus, my two videos are restored to public view. NASA films are public domain, and free to use by anyone. Now we are officially free to upload all the NASA videos that we damn well please. And so on this special occasion, we are proud to announce that the little gem and flagging the gems are restored to YouTube. And today I am proud to unveil the newest member of the JW Studios team, Scott T. Machicoldi, aka DJ Clyde, the Rama One Half character profile guy. Welcome aboard, Scott. Happy Yuri's Night, everyone. And happy birthday, Mother!